here is your boy Chris H. You're watching UrbanBookstores.com. Now, today we're located on Fordham and Grand Concourse. We want to get an inside look to the Urban Books. We're going to find out how people are feeling about these covers, how the authors are doing up here with the sales, and what their parents feel about their children reading these books. It's your boy Chris H. You're watching Urban Bookstores. If you didn't hear from the Urban Bookstores, then it ain't the source. What's up, it's your boy Chris H. on UrbanBookstores.com. Now we're standing here with the three vendors books, and we have a custom. This is a very interesting urban book. We we'll have a couple questions. What, uh, what attracts you to this book? About the streets, something that I didn't know much about. And I started from my co-workers. They were reading it. I like to read first of all. My co-workers read the book. And I went, hmm, they was going, ooh, ah, ooh, this, this, this. And I went, so let me try it. So I did, and I like it. They're hot, it's interesting, or so. It's exciting, it's excitement. This is Chris H. here at UrbanBookstores.com. We're staying out at the New York Public Library in the Bronx. We'll go inside and find out exactly what the people read. I'm going to ask you Your parents know y'all read up there? My parents, my mom, she don't, she don't be asking me what I read about. So it's just happy you read, so you know my baby read. I don't as long know. as I read, it's no problem to her. So. What about you? As long as she sees me with a book in my hand, she yes. If your kid was paid maybe 12, 11, would you still allow them to read these books? Yeah, I would. Some of them, yes. Yeah, some of them, yes. Because some of them shows and says things that they should know. Yes, some of them. Not all of them that I've read, but some, yes. You don't feel like it's just reintroducing them to a world, something that they probably won't benefit from if they learn about it and know about it? That they wouldn't benefit? Yeah, I mean, I mean they, somebody who's not raised in the hood, then why introduce them to that side of life when they can keep their mind focused on something different and something more positive? They go to school, there are many different people there, which is an example, my son went to the school, we had friends from the hood, they talking about this and that, he tried to get it popping with them, and I'm telling them, you're going to be looking over your shoulder, so he would learn and know the true game, you know, in the book he gets the true game, the friends, he's just a local, he doesn't know who's on top, who's watching him, it's I mind to the big turnaround, I have a college graduate now, but he was trying to do the Stop. And I'm like looking at him. I'm older. I know what it's about. You don't. So reading the book, you wouldn't have a better understanding. And I think you wouldn't know me. No, it's that not the little person that's on the street. There's a bigger person. You'll be and watch. You know? Yes, I would let my children read some of them.